Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on using motion blur in After Effects. Motion blur is one of the easiest effects to use, and it's actually built into the composition panel. And it can make very synthetic computer animation look a lot more natural and look a lot more like it's been filmed. So to start off with, I'm just going to drag my fish PNG into my composition and shrink it down. I've provided this fish as a link in the description underneath this video on YouTube. Hopefully you will have seen my introduction to After Effects video, so you'll be familiar with keyframing. I'm going to press P for position. I'm going to move through time and then move my fish over to the other side of the screen. And next up, I'm going to add an ease. So I'm going to make it ease out of this first keyframe. So it gradually speeds up over time. And I think I'm going to push this first keyframe back to say two seconds so that our action's moving much more quickly. So you can see we're gradually speeding up. That's what our motion graph looks like. And the next thing to do is to enable motion blur in the composition panel by clicking this button here. And you'll notice that nothing's happened yet because motion blur is an effect that you've got to enable on a layer by layer basis. So I've got to click here in the motion blur section of my layer. When I do that, you'll notice an immediate difference. The fish is looking much more blurry. So if I do a RAM preview, you can see that the fish blurs out the faster it travels. So it's moving much more quickly at the end. If I shove my keyframes even closer together, the fish will be traveling even faster. And you can see it blurs out loads the faster it becomes. So the shorter your animation and the faster your elements are moving, the more exaggerated that animation is going to seem. So the faster your animation goes, the more motion blur will be applied. Motion blur is calculated based on the speed something is going. So the reason this toggle, uh, so the reason this button exists is so that you can turn motion blur off for all layers. The reason for this is motion blur is really computer resource intensive. So if you're wanting to edit your project without having to wait for After Effects to catch up, it's a good idea to turn motion blur off. But when you're finished, you can turn it back on and do your render so that you've got all of your nice motion blurring going on. Just for effect, I think I might add some rotation too, just to add to this motion blur. So I'm going to hold down shift and press R. I'm going to tell it to rotate five times. So I'm going to press K, match up with this keyframe here. And the reason I'm choosing five is because it's going to have to rotate really, really quickly and we're going to get loads of motion blur. So you can see After Effects is calculating the rotation blur as well. So it's really blurring an awful lot. It kind of looks like a shuriken or like Ninja Star or something. So I'm going to do a RAM preview. And it's completely transformed the look of our fish. It's almost unrecognizable because there's so much blur on it. So there you go, that's motion blur. It's really simple to use. Why not try it in one of your compositions? And I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike, and are well worth checking out.